The recovery from the Great Recession has been a lot harder for women than for men. The Labor Department tells us that of those 120,000 jobs created in March, only a third of them went to women. President Obama was courting women voters at the White House today. Election Day is seven months from today. Nora O'Donnell is our chief White House correspondent. Nora? Scott, Democrats are accusing Republicans of waging a war on women. But today, the president stepped on the battlefield and said this political debate is oversimplified. Women are not some monolithic block. Women are not an interest group. You shouldn't be treated that way. <laughs> Women are over half this country and its workforce. The president was speaking today at an annual conference on women and the economy. But this year, his remarks seemed an overtly political effort to rally female voters. Health reform, it's been in the news lately. Because of the health reform law that we passed, women finally have more power to make their choices about their health care. The president is mindful that health care is a top concern for women who make up over half of the electorate. And a recent Gallup poll in 12 swing states found a significant gender disparity with Obama leading Romney by 18 points among women. A month ago, it was only four points. Mitt Romney says the debate over whether health care plans should pay for contraception is to blame. He believes Democrats wrongly portrayed Republicans as against contraception. But he acknowledged this week that Republicans have long struggled to win women voters. I know that our party has traditionally faced a gender gap, and I think the Democratic Party has done a, a, an effective job of trying to mischaracterize our views. Uh, I, I think that in the final analysis, I will win by having uh, the support of men and women. And Romney says his wife Ann helps keep him connected to the concerns of women. The issue women care about most is the economy and getting good jobs for their kids and, uh, and for themselves. And while both health care and the economy are chief concerns for women, there are some important facts to keep in mind. The president won female voters by 13 points in the last presidential election, but we saw something different in the last midterm elections when female voters actually favored Republicans for Congress. Cuts both ways. Nora, thanks very much.